and welcome back to the mini farm. Today I'm going to show you how to make a yummy crockpot chicken fajita that is one of the easiest crockpot recipes I make. I'll also show you lots of optional toppings when you're ready to serve it. But first, give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this and click the red subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. If it's already gray, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I love having you here and really enjoy our chats in the comment section. Without further ado, here's our yummy and super easy crock pot chicken fajitas. For this recipe, you're going to need one cup of salsa or two diced tomatoes. You can also use a can of diced tomatoes here. The salsa gives you the most flavor though, so if you have that, use it. Some taco seasoning, you can use homemade or store-bought. If you want my recipe for homemade though, let me know in the comments below and I can share that too. Onions, bell peppers, chicken, and salt and pepper to taste. This one is super, super easy. Probably one of the easiest ones we're gonna make this week. To get started, move this out of the way for now. We are going to dice up our onions and our bell peppers. Sprinkle these right in the bottom. Next, let's work on our bell peppers. Going to season every layer. So salt, pepper, a little bit of the taco seasoning. And half of the salsa. Great, and then finally, I'm just going to open up the chicken. Now, add in a little bit more taco seasoning. Really layer it up in there, right on top. Some more salsa. You could add more onions and peppers on top if you like more onions and peppers. This is fine for me. I am going to add some salt and pepper. Okay. And then cover it up and let it cook on high. Okay, it's been three and a half hours. Let's open this up. That's what it looks like in there.
So I added some sour cream, some shredded lettuce, some avocado. Here's the chicken with the onions and stuff. I did want to add some um, refried beans. Some people don't like it with that, but I do. And then I also added some tomatoes and cheese. So that's how I like to eat mine. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to try it and how you liked it if you did. I'll be coming back very soon with another crock pot recipe because it's actually crock pot week this week. And if you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you can see the weekly menus that we post. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. And if you haven't done so already, you can click on my face to subscribe. Bye.